uh, from California. And, my, and the necklace I bought at the Easter show in 1976. Yay. Wow. <laughs> okay, here's mine. Yeah. That, that, and my avatar. <laughs> oh, wow. You got the whole cast there. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Oh, okay, well, I'm, I'm much simpler than that. I've just got the, uh, the from the movie shot. Louise is joining us. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Hello, how are you? I'm just getting organised. Okay. Hello. I'm just having a drink. Oh, Dessert. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> if the criteria is this is supposed to make sense, we're in big, big trouble. <laughs> I think it's going to make sense to us who've watched the movie a hundred times. Oh, well, certainly, that definitely helps. Hello everyone, I've got my script here. I've got my t-shirt and my button. Hey. Nice. I've got the friends with me. Hey David. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hey. I've set myself up for the opening scene of the movie now. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> so how about my other cabinet then? Would that be better? Yay. <laughs> Great. And we're just cycling through them, so it's just like one person does, yeah, I do a line, then Cotton does the next one, David does the next line, Leander does the next line, Louise does the next line, then. Hi, Cotton. Hi, Ricky. I'm an Abba husband. Hi, Ricky. <laughs> Let's start, everybody. Have you got Hang on, hang on, I'm downloading the script. Are you still Yes. <laughs> Good morning. It's one minute to five and it's a beautiful day. Catch you tomorrow night from midnight to dawn with the latest and greatest in country music. And when is that Nashville train album going to come out? Meanwhile, all you truck drivers, late night as early rises, remember, what you see is what you get. This is Ashley Wallace. Thanks for keeping me company. Radio 2TW will present a two-hour ABBA radio special. For the first time, your favourite country and western host turns ace reporter. That's really not my bag, is it? Come on, it's a good challenge. Take it. I want a gut-level dialogue, an exclusive. You know what I mean. Right, okay, good. Go! Are you sure you want me to do this documentary? Don't use that word. It's not a documentary, it's an event. This is going to be... Whoa! <laughs> Lots of cameras around. What do you want us to do? I don't know, a uh, little wave. Excuse me, pal. Do you know what time ABBA are arriving? They've gone out the back door. You'll just have to wait here for the press conference, won't you? Excuse me, is this the right jam for King's Cross? Nah, it's back that way. Any performer gets very nervous before going on stage. Do you still go through that traumatic experience before you go on stage? I'd hate the sound of 30,000 people booing. <laughs> it's boring to travel, but it's fantastic to be on stage. I really love it. Yay, I get to do Anyera. Woohoo! <laughs> I think the travel is very, very hard. One day when I woke up in a Europe tour, I start to think, where am I? In which city? It's terrible. The four of you admit that you're now millionaires. Are you worried that you make money faster than you can spend it? It's a lot of money coming in, but there's a lot of tax to pay if you're a Swedish citizen, which is fair. But still, we can't do anything else in the future than trying to keep ourselves happy in our work. I'd like to direct a couple of questions to Anieta. I read somewhere where you are the proud owner of an award which declares you as the lady with the most sexiest bottom. Is that true? <laughs> That. I don't know. I haven't seen it. <laughs> have you filmed the umbrellas out there? It's a fantastic sight. And yet I have four kilos of makeup. Is the makeup artist here? Where could she be? The only thing I'm worried about is that the power just stops. The opening? Just walk out there. I don't think there's much we can do really with the wind and the rain. Can I see your press card, please? Uh, well, look, I haven't got my card on me at the moment. There's nothing I can do. If you haven't got a card, you can't get in. Well, look, I'll buy a ticket. How much are they? Sold right out. I haven't got one left. I'm very sorry. Testing one, two. Oh. 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 Hello, Sydney. Very 
very glad to see you. I'll tell you one thing, you make us forget the rain. I just hope that we can make you forget it too. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Abba tickets going cheap. Abba ticket. Are you selling tickets? How much? Fifty bucks. Fifty dollars? I haven't got fifty dollars. You ain't going to see Abba then, are you? Money, money, money. <laughs> Could you sort of hold it in the middle? Uh, let's have a smile. Down, down, lower, down a bit. That's it. Excuse me, is it possible to have a talk? We can go somewhere quiet. No, you can't go anywhere with them. No interviews today at all. It's just press photographers. Yeah, sure, everything's fine. There's no need to worry. I met them at the airport. We spoke for quite a long time. Yes, yes, there's just one oh, thing. Oh, I have to go to Perth. Perth, that's 2,000 miles and a very expensive airfare away. Yes, I know that, but you want the closed personal story. I want every listener on 2TW to share ABBA with you and me and all of us privately. Don't worry, I'll get the personal side. Also, could you send my press card to Perth? I left in such a rush that I left it in the studio. Ladies and gentlemen, in a few moments we'll be landing in Perth. Please watch out for a stalker called Cotton. <laughs> Why do you like ABBA? I like the clean cut beat and the clean cut appearance. I think they're nice and clean. Some of the groups today look positively ugly on stage. Thank you. Are you an ABBA fan? Not particularly. I hate him. I've got a dog <laughs> on ABBA now. He's got the records and posters. The house is full of him. It's as much as a man can stand. Can't you say I'm a journalist? But you haven't got a press card and we're all sold out. Excuse me, do you know where ABBA are? Yes, they're straight through there. What do you think you're doing here? I've got an interview. Who with? ABBA. Who said? Stig Anderson, their manager. Well, show me your press pass. You haven't got a press pass. Well, I have, but I... You haven't got an interview either, have you? Out. ABBA, which, which floor? Number five, but you haven't got a chance. That's okay. I'm a professional. <laughs> oh, it's Sydney Reviews. Thank you. It was uh, pretty dangerous for a while with the rain on stage. You were very lucky you didn't hurt yourself. Yes, we were. What does kinky mean? It's a, a sort of a perversion. Usually a sexual perversion. What do they find kinky? Abba's kinky. <laughs> Velvet bed. This is a giant bed and Yetta and Bjorn ordered to be ready at the hotel and the manager made sure their dressing gowns were ready when the super group arrived. Agneta's bottom tops show. Oh my God, don't they have bottoms in Australia? That, a middle-aged man said with feeling, is really something worth seeing. I suppose he thought that was a very funny headline. At least I did something for the show, didn't I? I ought to shove this microphone so far down your throat I could record your stomach talking to your... Haven't I seen enough of you today? This is known as an elevator. It goes up and down, and you're going down. Hello, good morning. Everything is going really well here. There's just one small problem. I have to tag along with them to Adelaide. Adelaide. Ever loving Adelaide is taking a chance with you, Ashley. The time is not ripe yet for an interview. I'm trying to remain friends with you, but you're making it bloody difficult. They have to have confidence in me. It's too early. Do you know what I mean? All right, go to Adelaide. But please, Ashley, get that dialogue we spoke of. The dialogue. That's exactly why I wanted to wait. Oh, just one more thing. My press card. Can it send it on to Adelaide? Great. Thank you. What do you like about this song? It's got a type of a, a feeling that, you know, you're, you're happy. There's nothing really special about them. They're uh, only human beings. They're <laughs> the music. That's what's special. Abba books and posters, 75 cents each. Abba buttons. Get your Abba buttons here. What don't you like about Abba? They show off too much. They just wear too many, they just wear too many clothes and too much makeup. I like the songs. What do you like about the songs? The parts that are good. What parts are good? The songs are good because their names are good. 
And one of the men is sexy, you know. They look sexy. Do you think Abba are sexy? I think they're nice and a bit sexy. Sexy? Sexy. Excuse me, you're <sighs> Abba's manager, aren't you? Yes, I am. I hope you can help me. I have to get an interview with Abba. Ignore this man, Mr Anderson. He's crazy. Take it easy, will you? I'm doing a radio special. It has to be on air tomorrow night. I really need that interview, Mr. Anderson. I'm really desperate. If you are down in the reception by 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, I will arrange this for you, okay? For sure. I'll get to talk to them. For sure. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you. <laughs> From concert to concert. Down to town, as though her whole world was spinning. She got what she wanted, and yet. She feels like a marionette. <laughs> I'm a marionette. I'm a marionette for the string. I'm a marionette. I'm a marionette just as long as I see. Ten minutes and away we go. You've been sitting for a long time now, so it's about time you got up because we're going to play a dancing number for you, Dancing Queen. Why the hell didn't you wake me up? The Moomba Festival presents the last appearance of ABBA in Australia. Hello. Hello. See, See you, Mr. Wallace, your press card's arrived. Keep it. It's yours. Excuse me. I'd just like to... Can I have a an interview? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> that was absolutely fantastic. Thank you very much. I have everything I need. Have a nice trip home. Bye bye. Radio 2TW and make it fast. Right. Hang on to your feet. What are you up to? Radio special on ABBA. ABBA? You're not with that mob, are you? Stroop. I took the wife and the kids <laughs> to see them the other night. Bloody terrible it was. It cost me a fortune. I thought. It'd be the nicest, cleanest show. Not in your life, mate. They came dancing out on stage, all dolled up in these white cloaks. Before <laughs> you know it, they rip half their clothes off. This Sheila had on the tightest pair of white slacks if you ever saw in your life. She suddenly turns her back on the audience and starts, you know what I mean, starts flashing at the audience, <laughs> doing this sort of thing. Can you drive a bit faster? Anyway, there she was with what they say the most beautiful bottom in Europe. Well, I guess I've seen a few bottoms in my time, but both red blood <laughs> males are quite admired it in a way because I can take that sort of thing, but not in front of the wife and kids. It's not the sort of thing you want to go flashing at them, not in front of literally thousands of little kids flashing it away there. I am a tiger. What sort of song is that? Keep the change. People were so nice, you know, and we had a really good time. I'd really like to thank everybody for supporting us so much. This is a crazy thing, you know, leaving everything. This is Ashley Wallace, back from Sydney, Perth, Adelaide and Melbourne, with a two-hour special, including an exclusive on-the-spot interview with those super Swedes, ABBA. There's nothing really special about them. They're only human beings. Are we on the air? Everything's okay. We're on the air. Except their music. That's special. So I say thank you for the songs I'm singing. Always, do your hey. dolls have any and other outfits? <laughs> well, I bought them like this. So, Bring on the mirror. This is all they've got. Oh, I like the uh, that mirror. There we go. Yeah. Mirror. It's, it's the battle got. of the mirrors. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got one. Hold it up. I'm going to take a photo. Hang on. I'm going to take a photo of my camera. Okay. One, two, three. Yay. Right. Yay. Nice to see everyone. Thank you. That's cool. Have a good day. So long. Bye.